What's going on everybody? It's your boy Cesar with Cesar Gets Crypto and we are talking about Morpheus Network today. Danny boy, this one's for you man. Daniel uh, Cosmala, this one is for you. You put this one on my radar. You didn't request this one today, but you did you know, a while ago and I just I, a little, little shout out to you Daniel. Um, Looking at it, I am bullish on this thing. Still, I do. I'm not. I'm not worried about the way that it looks right now. You know, you've got these uh, wicks here, right? Wick here, wick here. Wouldn't you know it? Those out of the recent days with the high volumes. This one had lower volume, and that was the full body. The days that imply buying, as far as like candlesticks go, they're the ones with the high volume. You are getting lower lows. It wouldn't surprise me if you even had a daily close below this. But look at what you've got going on on the R side. You've got higher lows and higher highs forming. This, if we did get a lower daily close, that would probably mark the end of this move because we would have double bullish divergence. And I do think that Morpheus Network would see a spectacular move off of that. This coin only has $38 million in its market cap. So there is... Um, this, this is a coin that can do very freaking crazy things in a very short amount of time, man. It could it could genuinely, like before the bull market's over, bef before it's over, like before even, before the halving even, this thing could 100x. Because 100x would put it at a $3 billion market cap. Um, and it might not. It could, it could 10x, you know, in that time, whatever. It might not even do that. It might 5x. It might 1x. It might 2x, whatever. But, uh, you know... Regardless, I think it's a low enough cap where if you wanted to throw money in this thing, it you don't put a whole lot of money because it has a whole lot of growth potential in it. But if you wanted to put money in this thing, I think it's relatively a good time to do. I do think it goes a little bit lower from here. Where do I think it's going to go? Um, maybe, probably, let's see, around, yeah, probably around 94 cents, ar around there at like on a wicking basis. On a closing basis, I doubt it goes... You know, I doubt we have a daily close much below a dollar, if even below a dollar. Um, but I doubt, I doubt that we have a daily close much below that. We probably don't have a daily close around here, but I bet we wick around here. We could go to 87 cents, it's possible, but I doubt it goes much lower than that. Um, in fact, I actually, I'm, I'm gonna say that I don't think it goes lower than that because that would take out this low here and I, I don't think we're gonna take this low out. So I would say this 1272 around 94 cents probably holds. I think buying, we're at a dollar and three cents now. I know it doesn't seem like that big of a difference, but but if you were to put buy orders around a dollar, that's probably a safe area to buy, in my opinion. If I was to buy this thing, that's where I would do it. It's a very low cap coin, so again, something you know, if if this is a long term investment that you want to do, being that it's worth thirty eight million dollars in market cap. If this was to be a top 20, a top 50, uh, get into the top 100 and reach a market cap that's worth $10 billion or more, you could easily see a thousand X from here. Okay. So if you took like a hundred dollars and you thousand X that you take a hundred dollars and turn it into a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. That's ridiculous, man. So you don't, you don't need a whole lot of money in this thing. It doesn't, you don't, you don't need to risk a lot of money to see some serious gains. It has that potential in it. Will it ever see that? Will it see a, a, uh, I guess a hundred X from here would be what that'd be a $10 billion market cap. It might not, it might not. And, and that's why you don't, you know, risk a whole lot of money. Will it ever see a $1 billion market cap? It might not. Will it see a hundred million dollar market cap? It might not. But it's at such a low price that I think a little bit of money can make a big difference if this thing ends up being legitimate. And uh, who was it? Um, go to the comments here. Not that I haven't responded. Let's see. Channel comments. Uh, um, Salvo Sam, you left me a whole freaking slew of information, man. Um, which, you know, this, this definitely sounds good. I'm not... I'm not too big on basing my moves off of promises, and it sounds like they've got a lot of promises. But uh, you know, I've I've seen cryptos, I've seen companies partner up and, and have all these like good bullish things go, and they're they're just nothing coins now. So you know, I don't I don't bank too much on that. But what I do bank on is the TA. We've got some serious bullish divergence forming. It could be invalidated. It's possible, but man, I don't, I don't think it's going to. I think this thing does look good, and I think it wants to go higher. You know, you've got uh you've got these higher lows, higher highs forming right now. Um, your all-time low was there. I think, let's see, let's go, if we were to go from the all-time high, I don't know if that's a good high to base it off of, honestly. Maybe maybe we could take it here. Yeah, you know, from this high to this low, you went up to the 1272. Now you could be finding support on the 0.69 or the 618. I, I doubt you go to the 618. I doubt you take this low out. You could, but I doubt that you do. 
and you're, you're finding support at kind of an area where, where, where it makes sense. Um, even if you were to go a little bit lower, right? I don't, I don't think you're going to go too dramatically lower. This thing, this thing looks like it wants to go, it wants to do very good things in the future. Um, very likely get above $6, above $10, maybe even in fact above $100 at some point in time. Um, I just wanted to give a quick little update on this. You know, I, th this is something that it's a low cap coin. I don't normally talk about low cap coins, but I think I think this is one that's worth talking about. Honestly, the uh, the moves up seem to be very uh, what's the word? Very very assuring, right? You have these methodical moves down, very small candles. All the big candles are coming to the upside, right? So the moves are happening to the upside, and then people are you know it's boring out of the market waiting for the price to drop and then the big dogs come in and swoop it up you know and that's i think we're just waiting for our next swoop up it will be swift it will be fast you know this last time it moved up let's see from from this low here to this high it moved up 393 percent in the course of like two months so i mean this this thing likes to move fast it definitely likes to move fast and I don't, I don't know, man. It might, it might not be the best time to buy it like right now, but I, I think it's at a relatively good time to buy. Um, yeah, I like this thing a lot and that's, that's all I got to say. So if you like the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and we will, we'll keep an eye on this as it progresses. Take care, everybody.